Assistant Jason Hill, and I'm Ty Gay. That's my real last name. Don't make fun of me. I cry a lot. <laughs> Just kidding. But um, check this out. We were uh, we did this on Instagram the other day, and I had some people ask me about it. Some punch block protection. We'll demonstrate it once and explain it in a little more detail. Now, what's happening is I'm pinning his arm right there. You see his arm's underneath my arm here, which is the arm lock. If it came out, no big deal. I could just grab it and we could finish accordingly. No big deal. But just kind of look at what's going on. Whenever he's making distance with me right here, if I don't do anything, he's going to land on square on me. And he's, he's using this to help gain the momentum to come down and hit me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise my hips up and I'm going to redirect his arm, kind of like an arm drag, and then reach underneath of his arm. Clasp my hands together. Now I'll put my foot on his hip and start moving my head to the other side. As I do that, I chop my leg up into his armpit and then I throw my leg over his face. Once I get my leg over his face, I cross my feet. Now his arm is stuck underneath my arm. Even though my hands are clasped here, they're not really doing much but holding on. I add pressure with my elbow on this side going down and my hips going up very lightly. So again, whenever he posts off of me, Typically, they're going to kind of sit up on their, on their knees and look, we're posting up. Now, I could go some other stages, but this one's a really good one. Look, my hands are going to grab with my thumbs on top. I hip up, and then as I pull him back down, I redirect. Even if he wanted to hit me in the face, slap me. He can't because he needs to pose to save himself. Now, I start to move my head to the other side to help this. I'll put my foot on his, on his hip and start moving to the other side. Now, watch my elbow right here. I'm going to use this to go around his head and kind of pin his face to throw my leg over it. Once my leg goes over it, I cross it. Which leg do you cross? The one that's on his head is the one you're going to cross over. My legs are kind of short, so it doesn't work on everybody. If it doesn't uh, work on them, you can just clamp in. But if you can't cross them, do it. And now we can finish with that arm lock. You can also finish with a little arm crush right here. Or even get into like a Kimura type situation. And if he was able to rip his arm out, of course it leads us to the triangle where we need to block punches before finishing our triangle. So, I hope this helped. Um, we had several comments and questions about it, so this is a little detail on that. If you have other moves that you would like to see or things you'd like me to break down, just um, send us a message or put them in the comments. Keep training. We'll be here on the mat. If you'd like to come train with us, feel free. Till then, peace.